I'm gonna be showing you my makeup routine that I do every single day. I start with the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. This is so good if you need a new foundation or just something light for every day. This one is amazing. The Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. And I just used this beauty sponge from Amazon. It's called like Paw Paw or something. It's really good. Next, I just do my brows. I use this Patrick Ta Brow Gel. It's super good. I love it. It's concealer. I use this Rare Beauty one. I don't know what it's called, but it's like the brightening under eye one. Not sure. Just do that under my eyes. And then I take another concealer. This is just the regular Rare Beauty concealer. I love this. If you can see, like it's almost empty. I've used it down to the bones. Next, I'm just gonna do some fake freckles. This is the Freck XL. I'm just gonna take my Rare Beauty blush in Happy. Oh, I just got it all over my hand and this in. It's so pretty, I love this blush so much. I've also had it for like over a year and I don't even think I'm anywhere near to finishing it. That stuff lasts forever. So next I'm taking my e.l.f. contour in, I think this is medium tan and just squeeze it out a little <gasps> that was a lot okay okay just blend it all in i put way too much on okay that was a mistake. Going to set our makeup. I use the Charlotte Tilbury powder. As you can tell, I really like it. I need a new one very soon. It's so good though. Like if you have dry skin and stuff clings to your face, you need this. It's so good. It doesn't cling to your pores at all or like make your skin look super dried out like some powders do. Um, I just put it in my T-zone with the puff and then I just take a big brush and kind of spread it all out on my face and down my neck a little okay and then I also use this Huda Beauty cherry blossom cake powder just under my eyes and a little bit under my cheekbones to brighten it up especially because i put <laughs> way too much i shouldn't talk while putting this on it's giving 2016 makeup tutorial right now <laughs> okay and i just let that sit that sits i'm just gonna do some eyeliner so i just i'm lazy today so i'm just gonna spray some of this and then use my ethereal eyes palette with this dark brown and just draw a wing and also this is a hack if you like struggle with using like liquid liner liner and making it look good what you should do first is just draw a wing with eye or with eyeshadow and then go over it with your liquid liner and it makes it so much easier to get a perfect line so much easier I'm just gonna wipe all of this powder off of my face And when I do um, eyeliner like this, I just like to take my finger and kind of just swoop it out. So now I'm taking my NARS blush, so pretty, 
and I just put this on top. I kind of use this as like a highlighter and a blush because it's super sparkly. I love this blush so much. It's so underrated. It used to be so popular back in the old YouTube makeup video days. I don't know why it doesn't get more love on TikTok because it's really, really great. It's literally like happy, but with gold sparkles. It's perfect. I'm gonna set my makeup. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, oh my god, <laughs> Flawless Setting Spray. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes, just a Tweezerman eyelash curler. I'm just gonna take, this is the Falsy Surreal. This mascara is so good. It's like a volumizing mascara. It works amazing. I love this mascara so much. Okay, so last but not least, uh, lips. I'm taking the Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner. This is my favorite. I'm just gonna take my Summer Fridays Balm. Normally I use the Too Faced Lip Injections, but my lips just feel really dry today, so I'm just gonna use a lip balm. And here's my final everyday makeup look. Uh, this was literally a disaster. Um, so maybe I'll redo another one uh, where I don't inhale powder and everything else. But okay, thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.